Hi everybody, this is John Denise and we're here today to show you how to bind up and set up your DX8 transmitter to the Blade 350 QX. So let's get started. First thing you want to do is make sure you're in acro mode of the three different flight modes or aircraft types. And then you want to make sure to set up some reversing. So we're going to go into the system or the menu here, go to servo setup. and go to reversing. Now on uh, the DX8, everything is new normal except for AUX1. So we'll scroll through here until we get to AUX1. And we'll reverse that and you're all set. So come back up here and just make double check to make sure everything is at normal except for AUX1. And it is. So now you're set. Now the next step we're going to do to go to throttle cut. So you're going to go into your throttle cut menu, come down to switch, and you want to put that on the trainer button, which is your button on the top. And you'll see the throttle cut at the top of the screen. You can check that by pushing the button. So now you're all set with that portion of it. Next we want to go into switch select, which is going to be in the system menu. So we'll have to turn off the transmitter. Hold down the scroll wheel, turn on. And you scroll down to switch select. And you want to set your flight mode to gear. So you'll highlight that, select gear. And the other thing you want to do is set your flap to AUX1. So we'll come back up here, highlight that, and scroll through. There's AUX1. And you are all set. Now you might want to set up Dual Raid or Nexpo, so we can go ahead and show you how to do that. Go into your menu, come to Dual Raid Expo. And you're going to want to set it up on your aileron for your aileron and elevator channel. So right here you'll see I've already got it set up and I've put it on the elevator dual rate switch which you'll see down here you'll set that here and I've put in 20% expo and 70% so it's 70% of the 100% on the high rates. So you'll see here in position 2 and 1 is high rate and so is zero. And you want to do that also for the elevator channel. So you click on that and set your values there as well. So now that we've got it all set up on the DX8 radio, it's time to bind it to the 350QX. So you install your battery, connected, transmitter off, turn the switch on, and wait for the, uh, the quad to go into bind mode, which is reflected by the blue flashing light there. So now we're going to bind it. And for the DX8, you hold down the bind button at the top and turn on the transmitter. Keep holding on to the button until it goes into bind mode. And you'll see it uh, should connect here shortly. So there you go. Now we're all set. We're going to check the different modes. So you'll see the green flashing light with the switch forward. That means it's in smart mode. Flip it up to the next position, you'll get the blue flashing light. That's stability mode. And then the last position will be the red flashing light, which means you're in agility mode. Now what I also want to show you is uh, we got the return home feature set up on the uh, flap switch. So what you'll do here, pull the flap switch down and you'll see the red flashing light, which means it's in return home mode. But we're indoors, so we really can't uh, test it, so we have to do that when you go outside. When you go outside, you also want to check, make sure your throttle cut's working. So there you go. I hope you enjoy this video and help you set up your DX8 on your Blade 350QX.